Look, I like my bitches, red bone, ass fat, cello, light skin, yellow. Hi, my name is T like the drink, but I ain't sweet. You feel me? So today, you know what I'm saying? We finna get into Transforming Roller. You feel me? They literally just dropped the first episode. So you know what I'm saying? Before we get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you follow me on my G to be description below as well as in the video. Make turn post because you fell on so you notify when I drop a video. Alright, y'all. Now let's get into it, y'all. You know, I don't know, y'all. It's crazy. Like, um, it's kinda hard to watch that type of stuff because it's like it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? We're literally seeing a BBL getting done right in front of our faces. That shit is crazy, you know? Like, that's what they really shoot. And he really even said it. Like, they really putting that on Zeus, you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy. You don't never know what you're going to see on Zeus. But anyway, so. It's crazy. But she started off saying, like, you know, she always been a big girl. And she always embraced it. Um, that she don't, she don't have no one. She don't have her dad. She don't have her mom. Her mom was always chasing niggas. So she had depression. Um, and stuff like that as a kid. So which I under, I can understand it. Like I know all that depression shit. And I have nobody. I know that shit is rough. You feel me? Um, and then especially being a big girl. Having to go through, you know, the bullying and all that shit. She said she's been plus size since, she's, since she was 11. So, um, you know, I understand that, that that's a lot. To go through, like, that's a fucking lot. You know what I'm saying? To, to, she said, I think she said she, um, she have sisters, but her sisters be with their dad. Just shit like that. So, and that, that made me, like, feel a little, like, okay, I'm, I feel bad for you. But her saying she, she always been a plus side girl and she embrace it. Then why are you, why are you getting, um, why are you getting surgery? You know, like, it's cool to be, I just feel like, just do it natural, but. She says everybody got their own way, and that's just their way, and I, I can't argue with that. It's her body. She's going to do what she want her body. You know what I'm saying? Me saying something is never going to make a difference. You don't even know who the fuck I am. But I'm just saying I think that, you know, at least try to do it the healthy way because putting your body through all that shit is never, never good. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, They showing, like, in a, the beginning, they show, like, all this all her fat that's like in a bucket first of all i didn't even know fat looked like that but they show it to you like in health class and you just don't think of like i don't know i just think of it look like something else but it's like literally like tissue in your body like fucking tissue like it's like that's disgusting like i don't know you wouldn't i don't know i just didn't think fat looked like that you think of fat is just your stomach getting big and nothing in your stomach like i don't know like a bunch of food or some shit i don't know so that's crazy but um, then she was, really was talking about like she's like she can't run, so she she gonna be excited to be able to run again, whatever. And all I could think about is when she said that, when Biggie start running around in that reunion, like Rolly, can you do this? Rolly, can you do this? <laughs> that shit is hilarious as fuck, dog. No, but that's sad. You can't even run. That's crazy. That's real sad. But anyway, so they get her neck and start drawing the um the stuff on her, like you know, to see where they're gonna do the fat at. And her titties, her titties are hanging to her fucking waist, bro. I never, like, I mean, you see big titties, but you don't see, like, it like that. Like, you see it in a, in a brawl or some shit. I don't know. Like, I didn't see, I, them shits are hanging low. And I never, like, I, like I said, I never seen no, like, hanging ass titties like that. That shit is low. Like, she definitely need a, a breast reduction. Like, I don't know if her breast has always been big or just big because she's fat, too. I don't know, but them shits are, like, I mean, God damn like like seeing her lay down on the table like that's just like whoa you know what i'm saying it's like that's a lot of body like imagine somebody trying to fuck that shit and i'm, I'm not trying to talk about her but i'm just saying like if you you gonna see the picture it's just like so much body and you don't really see that when she's like walking or whatever because she probably got like tighter or like looser clothes just clothes that you can't really see all of it but when she's laid out you see everything that shit is crazy but anyways so then they start um, sticking the needle in her, her butt and shit, or her body to get the fat out, put it in her ass, and that shit looks so fucking painful. But she said it wasn't even a, the painful part. I'm like, shit, I know, like, that shit, they just, like, literally just, and it wasn't doing it soft, it just, you know what I'm saying? Like, ow, the fuck? That shit had to be painful. But the doctors there, they seemed like they was really helpful trying to get her through the process, you know what I'm saying? They was talking through her through it. Just seeming like they was really trying to help her through the process and make it as peaceful easy and common as possible which you know doctors like that always make the 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 situation you're going through better or you know what i'm saying so 
I know she probably appreciate that a lot, but um, but I didn't know you could see like the results right away after BBL. Like, you literally saw the results right away after. Like, and I understand like you taking fat out, you should be able to see it, but I thought it's gonna like you know your stomach might be swollen or something. I mean, not the zag zones, but you know stomach might be swollen a little bit or your areas whatever. But you could see like literally like how it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Almost damn near. And I'm like, I didn't know you, that was the results. You can see the results right after. That's crazy. And then the fact that um, you're not sleep through it is crazy too. I didn't know that they, they don't put you to sleep through that shit. That's crazy too. I didn't. That's crazy. I guess maybe some people can get to put to sleep. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But then Riley was on. Um, was in the car and stuff like on live and shit. And I guess she posted something right after her surgery on Instagram, and she was getting like all sad or something about judgmental bitches. But it's like. Roly, <laughs> you know you can't be the one to talk, baby, because you be judging everybody and saying shit about everything. It's calling this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, can't like throw the shit in there hot, like then get sad when people fucking come for you at the same shit. I mean, people always gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? She know who she is. She know what she got herself into. She know, she know what show she be on. You know what I'm saying? People gonna talk regardless. So people be talking in my comments all day. It's just like. <laughs> There's one person, I swear, every time I do a baddie's reaction, she come and say some shit. <laughs> and I just be like, I mean, it's, it, it comes. Everybody ain't going to agree with you. It is what it is. It's just life, you know? But, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she she get, she get don't let that shit get to her head. Because if she do, that shit's just going to eat you up. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, they ended that episode with, you know, just her... Her being a little sad, people was talking shit, but that just, that's what happens, you feel me? Um, like, uh, this whole episode, we just really seen her get the BBL, which is crazy, because, like, I guess I didn't know that, that you could, first of all, like, you up with that, or you could, like, just, I didn't know how the whole process went. I didn't, yeah, I never looked into it, didn't really, you know, know nothing about it, so that was crazy to see that whole process. But, you know what I'm saying, hopefully she is healthier and getting healthier and everything going well for her, but... The next episode is her getting her breast reduction, which that shit looks fucking painful. And then um, Gunna coming in, which I didn't know she was cool with Gunna. Like, I didn't know that at all. But, oh, I think I did. I think I did know that. Because remember when Gunna performed when they were on Baddies? Or maybe, maybe yeah, Baddies. They was, he performed when they were somewhere. And she was all pissed. She's like, that's my nigga Gunna. Whatever. Yeah, so I, I think I did know that. But that's the next episode, so it's going to be interesting. It's interesting to see all these surgeries. Like, I guess this is a good show for people to watch that want to go through any of this so they can, like, see the process of actually what these women go through to get this shit done. And is it worth it or is it not? You know what I'm saying? That's really determined on you. But let me know what y'all think about that first episode in the comments. And thanks for watching. And see you guys next episode. <laughs>